Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and today I'm going to be showing you how to obtain the Topaz Bauble Worm. This is one of the new pets added in patch 9.1 that is purchasable from the broker Keeper Talhult here in Oribos in the Hall of Curiosities. Now, he sells some of these pets for vendor trash, quite literally. He wants trash items from the past of the game that you would never have kept on to, and it's just something you're going to have to go back and acquire. I actually found it quite interesting. It was quite fun going back and getting some random trash items and doing some old content as opposed to, you know, kind of doing my usual stuff that I would do at the moment. So it's quite handy. Now, all of these grey items you can just purchase from the auction house. None of them are bind on pickup, but because they now have an assigned value, a lot of people are selling them at quite high prices. Now, the first item that we're going to go and try and obtain is the Rotting Bear Carcass. It is very specific, but the best place to obtain this is in the Caverns of Time in the Old Hillsbrad Dungeon. Now, if you're unfamiliar, it is in Tenaris. There should be a portal to the Caverns of Time in Stormwind or Orgrimmar's portal room, so it's not something that you should really worry about. Once you fly all the way down, you want to head to this dungeon on the left, Old Hillsbrad Foothills, and once you head inside, you want to run up the tunnel, go out and you'll find some bears in the old version of Hillsbred, and there you go. It should be a very easy drop to obtain. Now, next up, we're going to go and get some Dark Iron Baby Booties. That sounds ridiculous, but you want to head into Black Rock Mountain, and we're going to head into Black Rock Depths. If you're unfamiliar, Black Rock Depths is in this part of the mountain, and you want to take a right through this doorway, and head all the way to the end till you find an instance portal. This will take you into the Black Rock Depths dungeon. Now, once we get inside, all you're going to want to do is kill every Dark Iron Dwarf that you see. Now, the booties themselves do not drop from the Dark Iron Dwarves, but you want to be killing all of the Dark Iron Dwarves to loot this item, the Relic Coffer Key, because you want to head into a vault which has 12 coffers, I believe, and you can open them up for a small chance at obtaining the baby booty shoes. Now, the map of BRD is probably the biggest and most confusing they have ever done, and even after all this time, I don't really even know my way around it, but you want to head to the Black Vault. When you finally find it, you will find these coffers that you can open using the keys that you've looted, and then inside will be a little chest, and if you're lucky enough, you will find Dark Iron Baby Booties in the chest. If not, you can always head out, reset the dungeon, and farm mobs and keys again until you get it. Now, lastly, you're after an item called the Stoppable Force. This is a grey mace. Now, this mace is just a general vendor trash item that could drop anywhere in the TBC era of the game. The best place to go is obviously probably dungeons and raids where there's a lot of more, you know, there's a lot of trash in big places. So a good place, Karazhan, the battle for Mount Hyjal raid. You can always go in without killing bosses and then go out and reset. But it's if you go in and kill some bosses as well, you can transmog farm while you do this. You can do heroic dungeons, normal dungeons, you can just keep going with this really until it drops. I went for quite a while and didn't have it drop so I did end up just buying mine, it was a lot of gold, it was so sad to spend so much gold on a grey item. But get all three of those items and the broker will happily trade you the Topaz Bauble Worm for all of your trash, all your junk that you would never have thought to keep. And uh, there we go, that is the Topaz Bauble Worm. There are two more worms that he sells that I will be covering in two future videos. And like I actually had quite a bit of fun making these and gathering these items. So be sure to subscribe for more guides and videos. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you next time.